Hello everyone, Sally here, and welcome back to another live stream here from the Truly A Bedrock server on Twitch. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome. Zero Cruel, congrats being the very first person here. Pigs vs. Rabbits, welcome back as well. Muzak and Phantom Foxy, Decode, Shadow Dragon, Erwin Allen, and Little Sky Fox, Twinkie Octopus, Pico Nico, Hoodie Guy, and Tigrissa of Gorana, Chickaplet, Opening Llama, Jedi, EE76, Flam, Royal Savage, Kill, Giant Fire, Kraken, uh, Depressed Orange. I feel ya. That, that, that's a mood right there. <laughs> Rambler Gold, and Trey, Itali, Ollie, and Papa Bear, and Toxic Path, and many, many others. Welcome, everybody. How are you guys doing? Have you done anything fun today? Now it is actually Sunday. Last stream, I said it was Sunday, it was Saturday. You guys know how it goes. It's just complicated. It's hard to keep track of days. What can I say? It's only my job. Anyway, let's switch over to the game, shall we? We got stuff that we gotta do. Stuff and things. So, today, we're gonna be once again trying to sort and store one million items from our piglin trading bartering thing of Doom. And uh, we may or may not have massive issues with that due to a multitude of reasons. One of which is our own incompetence, but mostly bugs. Many, 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 many bugs. All of the bugs. Just lots and lots, lots of bugs. <laughs> I see you guys getting those Pico traders in. I should, I should make it so that we can have a lot more of those. So they don't sell out so quick. It's my last day with a gifted sub. Oh no! You better enjoy your, your Pico emotes while you can. Okay, so we got we got some things smelting in here. Lots and lots of things. It's good, it's good. So the first thing that we're okay, all of our tools are repaired. Never mind. We don't need to go do that. I already did that before the stream. Lovely. Let's head over to the actual bartering area and you'll see what we got set up. Uh massive spoilers for the next episode of Truly Bedrock, but not really, because like you guys already saw those spoilers yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've made basically no progress in the next episode of TP just because there's so many bugs. Like, we've we've worked around, like, six different bugs, but there's one bug when it comes to uh, hoppers and sorting that's just, like, kind of impossible to work around, especially when you're trying to sort and store a million items. So, it's, uh, there's issues. There's many of them. Much of the issues. Not to complain or anything, I'm just stating the facts. It's just what we're dealing with, you know? Bug rock. <laughs> oh, a squid head. That's a good one. Yeah, we can do that later. I like that. We need to get, like, some proper stairs. Ones that don't burn you. That would be nice. You love the emotes. You'll miss them. Same, though. I need to get a lot more made. We have so many emote slots. So, so many. And I need to fill up all of them. Also, I'm kind of considering turning our current Pigo emotes into, like, little stickers. Would you guys be interested in that? Little Pigo emote stickers? I think it'd be pretty fun. Especially, like, the love Pigo and the angry one. Or the yes and no. I, like, there's, there's a lot of good opportunities there. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead and make this thing three tall. Just because, like, yeah. That way we can kind of fly through it, if you know what I mean. Name a smithing table. Diamonds are useful. We can do that. I mean, diamonds are useful, but only for making jukeboxes so you can play pick step. It's the only reason why you need diamonds. Otherwise, there's not a single reason to have diamonds. Diamonds are useless as of, like, forever. Speaking of which, once the end dimension is open... Uh, then we'll actually have like a lot of uh, diamond tools, weapons, and armor. So then we'll be able to name a lot more of that stuff. So you guys will have more things to uh, name with the pick over points. Which will be nice. Because right now there's just like a bunch of random items. We don't really have like a stockpile of gear going. And also of course we got a bunch of netherite. So we can turn it on into netherite tools and armor. And then we'll be pretty good on that front too. Uh, I probably saw it, but we haven't done a lot of the name and items. We're, we're kind of backed up on all the pick-up points. Well, yeah, but you don't need loose diamonds. You need diamond armor and weapons and tools, but you can get those from end cities. You can get those from villagers. You don't need loose diamonds. 
The only thing in the game that you need loose diamonds for is enchanting tables and jukeboxes. So in total you need one diamond because you only need one jukebox and enchanting tables are kind of trash. <laughs> That's how we are. Name a pig? Yeah, it's big brain time. Pigs don't have that big of brains. I mean, we're smart and all, but we don't have that big of brains. Also, smaller brains are kind of more efficient, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's kind of like how, you know, a smaller computer is probably more powerful because all of the, uh, all of the everything is just shrank. It's just quicker and easier for everything to get around. Uses less power. Generates less heat. Yeah. Brains are basically just organic computers. So I guess a smaller brain is a good thing. Okay, fine. Pigs are smart. That's what I'm, that's what I'm arguing here. <laughs> Need more than one jukebox. That's true. You need an entire floor of them so that you can play jukeboxes all the time. All of the time. Why is there a random pillar right there? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Oops. Don't jump off the edge. I don't have any fire res on me, so that's, you know, probably a good thing to be aware of. Also, we need to make this nether tunnel someday. That's a good stream project right there. Nether tunnels. Good project. Okay, I think that's the end of it right there. Yeah, and then it just goes up to the side. Meow. Okay, so, piglin bartering. If you didn't see the last episode of Truly Bedrock, and if you didn't see the last live stream, let me give you a little bit of a, uh, a rundown on what's happened thus far. So, we have 20 piglins inside of this thingy right here, and then you throw gold into this thingy right here, and then you do some redstone magic, and then one gold gets you 20 barters, and then you do some redstone magic, and then you get 20 barters every second, getting you millions of items, literally millions. Uh, it's actually a little bit ridiculous. It's uh, way too much. <laughs> now, I set up this extremely basic system right here for sorting, which is not efficient at all. It doesn't really do what it's supposed to, and it doesn't collect all the items. Reason why I did, the, did this is because we need something, and this is better than absolutely nothing. So, I mean, there's that. Are you guys going to come back around this way? <laughs> what are you doing? I know you're only one block tall. Like, you can get through there. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, like, this thing sorts items. It goes all the way down to the end over here. I already picked out a few bits and bobs. Uh, all of these items is from 54, 55 gold? Something like that. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, we got we got like a lot of stuff, lots and lots of items. It run it runs out around down here. We're not using blue ice. Oh yeah, we need to go get some blue ice. So there's a couple things that we need to do. We need to possibly work on the Nether tunnel here because that thing is very dangerous and not safe. We need to get a bunch of gold, which I'm gonna be meeting up with Blue Jay later tonight to help with that. Uh, we're gonna be buying gold blocks from him. Uh, many 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 of them. One, one gold? We'll be using about one gold per second. So how many gold do we actually need for that? Let me get a calculator. Also, there's many notifications I need to read. Many, many notifications. Let me get somewhere safe and read these notifications. This is not a safe area. <laughs> Let's break into the wall. There we go. Safety. Safety in my little bunker. I like it. Safety. I like it. Yes, yes. Okay, so, let's see, we got Teach with 100 bits, welcome back to another stream, how are you doing today? And then Corin subscribing for 22 months! Dang, you're nearly at two years, mate. That's crazy. Two years! Crazy, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Also, we got a ton of new followers as well, Double Kill, J Boy 7 twice. And then, not someone important. I think you're important. Everybody's important. Uh, Chain of Cody. Uh, JJ Feely. Uh, B B Bud. And Daniel Crafter. Uh, Panna Magu O'Clone. Golden Gun. Merc Monster. Teamer. Phantom Foxy. Filing Phoenix. Tor Lunny. And Log Horks. And Zappity. And Mr. Sea Potato. And keep a mo chin. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the follows. They keep coming in. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Welcome to the community. 
Uh, we got a whole bunch of Pico requests. We can do a couple of those right now. What's the poll? Favorite genre of music. That's an interesting one. I'm not really a music person, but I am kind of curious of what your guys' favorite genre of music is. Favorite genre of music. I want to put music. Uh, let's see. What were the options that we put over here? We got country. I'm putting that one at the bottom. You guys aren't allowed to like country. <laughs> uh let's see rock pop hip-hop these are just the options that they suggested rap uh we got five different options there there you go you can vote on that you're not allowed to like country though what are you doing oh i should have put classical on there yeah swap out country for classical if you like classical music vote for country if you'd like country just don't vote at all just just leave <laughs> Also, thank you, Fun for Joe, for suggesting that one. Uh, uh, do I prefer coffee or tea? Definitely tea. Tea all the way. I've never even really had coffee. Coffee's too expensive. It's like... Yeah, it's just too expensive. It's, it's too complicated. So, uh, coffee, you gotta grow the beans, right? Now, the beans have a little fruit around them. Like, there's actually, like, a little thin, like, fruit thingy. It's, like, red. That's how you know it's ripe. And then you gotta peel that thing off. You gotta dry it. And then you gotta, like, dry it. And then you gotta roast the coffee. And then you gotta grind it. And then you gotta pour hot water through it. Because you can't just eat those grinds. Uh-uh, that's gross. Blah. Don't want to do that. And then you gotta, like, you know, steep or, like, you know, possibly pour it through twice. If you got some weak coffee. You know, you gotta pour it through twice. Uh... <laughs> It's it's like it's complicated. It's way too complicated and expensive. I just prefer tea. You get three bucks, you get you know fifty tea bags. It's great. You get a hundred cups of tea out of that. Country is awesome. <gasps> How dare you? Ah, oh, differing a different opinion than mine. Ah, oh, that's not allowed. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this thing because I haven't really showed this at all. We've just been rambling. Uh, so this is oh my god the hoglins. This is why we don't get anything done. Hoglins are the reason why we get nothing done. Anyway, so I changed up the system from what we had in the recent episode. So now all the piglins throw items in this direction into the chest. They're all lined up. They fall down, they get launched to the side, and then they're over the ice and the hoppers. And these things are actually double speed item collection. So in theory, that'll help, but it doesn't really. But yeah. Rock won with 43% of the vote. Interesting. Oh, where'd the rest of the pool results go? Oh no, it just disappeared. Whoops, click the wrong button. Uh, but Rock won, that's interesting. Cool beans. I don't know any rock songs. Well, I guess I kind of do. I don't know any good lyrics to rock songs is the thing. So I have some ideas for how to improve that. We'll go to creative in a little while and fix that. What were we gonna do? We we're gonna get Flint, and then we were gonna go ahead and we're gonna do something else. Get gold? No, we don't need to get gold. We're gonna do the nether tunnel. Right, let's grab all the all the gravel that we got. We need to go make a new shovel. And we need to use all of the gravel that we got and get flint. So, flint is necessary for flint and steel, of course. As you might know. However, flint and steel isn't really that particularly useful unless you happen to have a mega gold farm. In which case, flint is very, very, very convenient because that's what you'll need a lot of for your flint and steels to light and turn off the portals and relight them. So if you have a mega gold farm like Prowl, Blue Jay, and Killadrone, you're going to be going through a lot of flint and steels, meaning that you need a lot of gravel. So I'm going to try and sweeten the deal and help those guys out a little bit and give them as much flint as I can. So we're going to break down all the gravel. As you can see, we've actually gotten like a significant amount of gravel. From this it's actually a pretty solid amount if only we could craft a TNT with gravel why can't we do that I would love that also I saw a resub in here but it's not in my notifications I gotta scroll up in the chat for it <laughs> where did that go uh, Erwin Allen extended their sub through to October nice thank you so much for that take a break for 3,000. We just started the stream, but yeah, we might take one later. Country second at 24%. Yeah, you guys really like classical music. I knew you guys were intellectuals. I just knew it. Just knew it. 
You guys are beautiful. Oh, I gotta scroll down the chat some more. Ah! <laughs> Can you name a hoglin head porky and put it on your nether portal? Yeah, we can definitely do that. We can definitely do that. Okay, let's grab all the gravel that we got. That's what we're trying to do here. And then we're gonna head back to the base. We can do some naming items. We can do some other pick up point redemptions. And we'll be good to go. And then we gotta go head over to creative and do some testing around. And then I wanna show you guys a bug and then you guys need to go upvote that bug because that bug plagued everything and made it so that I wasted like 10 hours of my life, which is very helpful and very good use of time. Pretty standard day of bedrock edition, I will say. What's a new? Just buy flint from your villagers. That's way too slow. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's why we need to extend these tunnels. That was scary. I don't have fire res on me. I made these things three tall so we can maybe fly through them. But like, it's scary. Ugh. Uh, I that was kind of good. Country is the best. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you speak the truth? Classical music is just, mm, just can't go wrong with some good old classical, right? Sound like you need 3,600 gold an hour. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna do that. Uh, 3,600 gold an hour. Right. Let me let me do this. So we're gonna use one gold a second. That's you know 60 gold a minute. Times 60. For an hour, 3,600 gold a minute. Uh, divide that by nine, because that'll be stacks of blocks. So, um, oh wait, no, sorry, I'm, I'm doing that wrong. 3,600, 3,600, divide that by 64, and then you got stacks. We need 56 stacks of gold an hour. And then we can divide that by nine, that's stacks of gold blocks. We need 6.25 stacks of gold blocks in order to uh, power the Picklin farm for an hour. I'll keep that in mind. Can I just fly? Thank you. I'm not gonna say every, every stream you guys want me to say that. Yeah, okay, so flying over here is not a good idea. Especially when you got such a valuable load on you. <laughs> also, there's just a block missing right there. That's very evil. But you need more if you want to make things with gold. Yeah, we're not going to be using the gold for anything. Like, we're not going to be decorating with it, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. Uh, we're not really going to be making rails or golden apples or carrots or anything. We're purely going to be using the gold for pickling bartering. That's all we want gold for. Literally the one and only thing that I'm interested in. Uh, pick up points are the channel points. So you get them from following and chatting and just being part of the stream. And then you can spend them on stuff and things. Many, many stuffs. Much things. School just gave you a break, so you're gonna watch the stream? Cool beans! Having a break is always a good idea. Okay, do we have a fortune shovel? I know we got this uh, silk touch shovel. That's a new building over there. What's up with that? I don't know. Do you guys know what that is? It's probably a spoiler. That's fine. Mm, yeah, we don't need that in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shovel. We got zombified diglin. Can we turn this into a... Uh, can we turn that into a fortune? Is that all right? I think that's all right. That's all we got for shovels. Yeah, we'll turn this into a fortune. It'll be fine. We're also going to keep a little bit of the gravel. Hey, hey, this thing's melted. Cool. I wasn't even here for that. Also, I totally clicked on that jukebox thinking that it was a uh, crafting table for a second. <laughs> I'm very smart. Okay, let's get some fortune on this guy. We should have one of those just sitting in the box over here. Affinity, efficiency, fortune three. Beautiful. 
It's not often you specifically make yourself a uh, Fortune 3, right? Normally, Fortune 3 is bad. You don't want a Fortune 3. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No Fortune 3s. How often do we do the pick-up point redemptions? Uh, every single stream. We'll typically do two to three batches of just doing things at once. Uh, or I'll just randomly do a couple as we're as we're doing them. As we're going throughout the stream. So, let's see. How much do we get from one? One, two, three, four, five, six. And all that. Uh, is it literally just one for one? Oh. I see. 14. Yeah, it's one for one. I thought you got multiple per. Hmm. Okay. I think we have a little bit of flint up here, even. We should have some flint up here. Uh, yes, we got a stack and some. We're never going to need this much flint. Can you guys think of a single reason why you'd actually need this much flint? I can't, besides the flint and steels. But, like, as a normal Minecraft player, you should really only ever need, like, 10 flint in your entire Minecraft world. So, that's, uh, that's my position, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> to settle prowl. That's fair. No. Wasted on arrows. Oh, yeah, arrows. Pff, pff, arrows. <laughs> Who crafts arrows? Come on. Arrows. Really? Huh. Arrows. Infinity, man. You kill, like, three skeletons, and you have all of the arrows you ever need. Skeleton farm. If you're using a mending bow, you better just have a source of arrows. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, come on, block lag. We don't want you. Go away. Uh, also, Keck, thank you so much for the host. Much appreciated. Crossbow. Uh, who uses the crossbow? Oh, it literally did just expire. Interesting. I would think that that would expire. Well, I guess maybe if it got gifted to you, then it lasts exactly one month or something. Oh, hey, phantoms. I thought it would expire at like midnight or something. Mending bow is scary. Yeah, we don't talk about mending bow. Mending bow is uh, not something that we need to discuss. It's it's too scary. It's nightmare fuel. I don't want to scare you guys like that. Hey, Rogue Fox, how's it going? Do you guys want to have a little bit of fun? I was going to do this earlier, but like... Yeah, see, Tally Ollie's on it. <laughs> New horror movie. We can have a little bit of fun. I I'm going to I'm gonna get somebody else later. I'm going to get Zloy later. Dan Rob's props is a crossbow man. What? I trusted him. He's like a father to me. I had no idea. Been lied to. I misjudged his character severely. <laughs> yeah, so we got tagged on stream yesterday from Dadcraft. The Mr. Dadcraft. It was a very good tag. He snuck right up on me. Would not have noticed him at all if he didn't take damage going into the base. And it was just overall a very stealthy tag. I am really quite happy about how that went. Oh, I remember the other thing that we need to do. We need to get blue ice. That's what we need. Yeah, we need blue ice for the storage system. So we got to go to the, uh, the icy area. You know, the area that we've just demolished like seven times over. Okay, that was not that much gravel, was it? I wish we had the offhand. If we had the offhand, we could just like stand here and then just hold both the buttons and then just mine everything as we're placing it. It'd be so nice. Should trade the gravel with the villagers. Uh, no, we need it. We need it for a more valuable trade. We're, we're supplying a gold farm. And that's very helpful to us because we need lots and lots of gold for all of the things. So 
So all of this flint is going to be going into flint and steels, and then that's going to go into a gold farm, supplying our piglin trading with lots and lots of gold. And then we will have nice things from that. We're, we're building partnerships here. We're, we're helping our server mates by doing grindy things. Which is fine. You know, that's part of Minecraft. Everything's grindy. Notice me. Never! But also, hi. How you doing? <laughs> How do Flint and Steel's affect gold farm? So they're using a flickering portal design. Uh, they turn off the portals, then they turn it back on real quick. It lags out the server to all hell. But it gets lots of pigmen. Depending on how much obsidian we get from our Piglin Trader, we won't have to set up an obsidian farm, so we won't have to farm bedrock, so we won't have to get wither cages. Which could be fun. <laughs> Just get all of your obsidian from piglins. <laughs> In order to farm zombie pigments, that would be great. So meta, man. Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on. I need to be doing this smart. Where's my auto-clicker? Yes, auto-clicking. Uh, we're going to make this a right-click. And that's going to place 10 times a second. So much better. We've done this before. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yes. So much more convenient. Yes. Except when it lags. But that's fine. It is kind of laggy though, isn't it? But you know what? This is so much easier on my hands. <laughs> Auto-clicking of doom. Sometimes you got to automate things because we don't have nice features like, you know, the offhand. If we had the offhand, we could just stand in one place and do it. But no, can't do that. So we play super quickly. Yeah. <laughs> A chunk of gravel base. Oh, no, now it's right clicking all the other windows. Oops, got to turn that off. <laughs> what auto clicker do I use? I use OP auto clicker. Uh, it's just like a really basic one. I think it only does your mouse. Uh, it doesn't do any other key binds and stuff. It's just it's just very good. I use it for uh, AFK fishing. It's like basically the most basic auto fisher that you can really get. And there's not really much to it. You just set it up and it's good to go. You can find a download link to it on the uh, AFK fish farm tutorials. That's what I would recommend. It's, it's the one that I use. It's just really basic, really simple. No complicated. Nothing issues. Who's on right now? Right now we got myself and Rogue Fox. It's actually been a little bit quiet this week. Normally there's like four to five people on at one time, but this week has been pretty quiet. I haven't seen a ton of people on. I've been the only one on like twice, which is the first time I've seen that this season. You can really notice like block placing lag when you have it clicking this fast. <laughs> How much gravel do we have? We've made a 16 by 16 of gravel already. There we go. That's it. Okay, cool. That's a lot of gravel, peeps. We got all of this for freezies. Oh, there's more in the inner chest as well. That's right. What do you need to look gravel for? We're getting it for flint. We need lots of flint. Why we got so much, like, block lag? <laughs> I wish there was a better way. Like, if we could drop it onto something and guarantee get flint from it, that's what we would do. Because you can, like, break this stuff on, like, a slab or whatever. But there's no guarantees it's going to drop as a flint. What do we need all the flint for then? Flints and steels. Yes, flints and steels. All of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think there are actually auto clickers on Android. I don't know if there are on iOS. I, I've heard some people in the comments have issues finding one on iOS, but it should be possible. Why is it so laggy right now? I just got like a, lots of frame issues. Strange. We don't have fire spread on. It's not my gold farm. Go ask Prowl. <laughs> I'm just here to do the nice things. Just here to try and help out so we can bribe them into giving us better prices for gold. We need so much gold. I don't think you guys understand the, the, like, the idea here. We need all of the gold. If it exists, we'll use it. 
I need the entire world supply of gold. We're going to be using 3,600 an hour, if not like 7,200. Because we could use two a second, easily. Oh my god, I'm not trying to mine the dirt. <gasps> we could use like four a second if we wanted to. As much gold as you have, that is how many the piglins will take. The piglins are extremely greedy. Pigmen, on the other hand, very nice, very helpful, very kind and generous. <laughs> Smart and big brain and intellectual, yes. Only about one out of three of those are true. Which ones those are? You may never know. Oh, what? There's just a thing right there. All right, that's Groova's base. Sorry, Groova. I broke your base. Broke your base, mate. Put those back. See, no one saw anything. Nothing happened. Oops. Nobody saw anything. Okay, so that was all the gravel that we got. How much flint do we had? I thought you got, like, multiple flint per thing, but apparently not. Anyway. Yeah. That's actually a pretty solid amount. That's not too shabby at all. Oh, we got six more gravel. How did I not... I don't know. Uh, let's see. We had more gravel in here. Yay! <laughs> Are you guys sick of gravel yet? I know everybody hates gravel by default, but, like... Yeah, I think this is the the point of no return for most people. Once you've seen this much breaking of gravel. Or maybe it's stress relieving. Maybe you guys like seeing gravel die. Maybe you're like, yeah, gravel's finally getting what's coming to it. All those times and those mines when the gravel floor fell away and dropped you into lava. Yeah, this is what we're getting revenge for. All those times where gravel fell on you and suffocated you. All those times you had to switch to your shovel to mine gravel while you were in the mines. All those times. No, that's about the, the only time the gravel's annoying. Is there anything else that gravel's bad for? I mean, all the things, but like, still. All those times you had to go to the bottom of the ocean to collect gravel for concrete. Yeah. It's bad. Gravel nothing, never did nothing good for nobody. Mm -mm. See you later, Benny. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Yeah, gravel mountains or the ocean. Sometimes it's hard to find, find a mountain range, though. But yeah, you really can get a lot of gravel from the mountain ranges. Wow, so much so much block lag. <laughs> I think that's when it's, like, trying to place on the side of the block. Like, when you can, like, speed bridge and stuff. But, um, it's just failing to place. I'm not sure why, why it has those issues. Or maybe Bedrock Edition just doesn't like me placing blocks because gravel is annoying. <laughs> I don't know. My hand has unbreaking. I wish it did. Purple tunnel is no fun. Or arthritis or whatever. Wrist pain in general. See, look at this. Can't even place the blocks. Annoying. So we're about to get some more phantoms because it's getting dark out. Your friend built his house in a gravel mountain. Big mistake. This sounds like a big mistake. Ah! <laughs> yeah, auto clicker will just place wherever you're looking. See, look at that. Phantoms. They don't know the struggles of getting flint. They don't have to worry about it. Sleep! I can't sleep! I gotta place gravel! <laughs> Speaking of, though, I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I'm probably not gonna be doing much tomorrow. 
even though it's Monday, and that's the day that you're supposed to be working and going back to work. That's the day I'm taking a break. Sleep is good. I'll probably just go to bed early tonight. <laughs> Maybe. Early is going to be like 2 a.m. <laughs> uh. Uh, we have very strict moderation settings. Hi, Rogue. Hi. Much flint. <laughs> He's so close. He's so close. Got a present for you. <laughs> He's gonna run away. He doesn't know what it is. <laughs> How's it going, Rogue? Uh. <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to tag him so much. <laughs> no response. Just dead stare. <laughs> He's not worried about it at all. <laughs> uh, see you later, Pocket. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Enjoy the rest of your school day. <laughs> Does not notice. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is he writing? He must be typing something in the chat. <laughs> Ah, uh. <laughs> oh, you're it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, man. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I'm not recording. Oh, well, sadness. <laughs> Oh, man. That's great. I love it. I'm gonna get Zloy later. Yeah. That's how we gotta do things. Oi, phantoms. I can never shoot phantoms. They is difficult. Okay, we're finally nearly done with the gravel. Then we gotta go get some blue ice. And then we'll be back to uh, doing some different stuff. Gotta get the resources, though. Resources are required for all of the things. We need a lot of blue ice, though, for the storage. I think we're gonna need, like, at least four stacks. At least four stacks, you know? We'll put that back in there. Oh, did he shoot it? Nice. Nice. Beans. So am I LO. Hashtag infinity gang. <laughs> See, the real reason why we need infinity is because we're just terrible shots. Oh, we're like nine short. How'd that happen? I thought we had a full stack. Or full nine stacks. We have the flint. Uh, I guess we'll take that. That'll be... Uh, 55 gravel that we need. Oh, jeez. We gotta do a little bit more. I'm sorry. We need a full shulker box. I'm not gonna... I'm not just gonna, like, you know, not have a full shulker box for the guy. If you're, like, five short on your payment, they'll, they'll come after you, you know? So am I. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good shot. Clearly, I can't shoot a phantom. <laughs> uh... What's the baddest thing that has happened to me in Minecraft? Uh, probably losing my entire villager trading hall way back when uh, on Legacy Console Edition. I spent so long uh, getting a perfect... See ya. Uh, getting a perfect villager trading hall on Legacy Console. And then they rolled out an update that changed minecarts and boats and the way that entities ride in them. And every single one of my villagers got deleted. Every single one of them. And I stopped playing that world after that. <laughs> that was it. There we go. 64. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Now we can go ahead and sleep. 
<laughs> oh yeah, drowning in lava was an issue. Uh, I had all my Minecraft worlds get deleted once when I reset my computer. Although that's not really Minecraft's fault, it's just my own stupidity. But I'm gonna blame that on Minecraft anyway, because I can. Oh yeah. And then... Um... Yeah, let's see. Oh, just general bugs in general. It's like, I mean, the most recent thing is this bug that I'm about to show you guys once we go over to creative. Uh, that one's very annoying. Let's put this into our ender chest that we can remember to repair it. And then we'll put that back. And then we got silk touch. Great. Let's go get ourselves a bunch of blue ice. We're going to need it for the storage. The storage is going to be such a mess. But you know what? We got to work around bugs. Flint stalks. Absolutely. How much iron we got? Not much because we haven't been up here. I mean, dying in the lava was a fun thing in zero, Season 0, but it wasn't, like, the worst thing that's ever happened to me in Minecraft. It was just, like, a fun thing that happened. It set us back a couple hours, but it just strengthened our resolve to uh, get stuff done, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there's an iceberg over in this direction. Oh, yeah, pick Ashley dying. Oh, man. Barry dying? That was something bad. Uh, let's see. Most of my rage at Minecraft comes when things just break for no reason. Do the bugs. Hence, 75-part series about bugs. <laughs> Having all of your diamond librarians wiped from the world is really fun. Yeah, I had an entire 40, 50 villager training hall get wiped. Clean from existence. It's been so long. That was back in the day as well, where re-rolling villagers was like a pain. This was pre-village and pillage, so like old school villagers. And also, like the limit of villagers in the world was like 20. So you had to breed the villagers and then transport them via minecart over 300 blocks away just to have more than 20 in your world. Because there was like global mob caps and stuff. Really annoying. So like a lot of work went into that villager trading hall. Okay, somewhere over here is the icebergs. We've flown directly to it like seven times. Is that it back there? Oh yeah, we passed it. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of different base stuff happening soon. Uh, we just got a couple other projects that we're working on right now. Okay, how slow is this stuff to mine? Oh, what? That's quick. Okay, yeah. I'm a fan of that. I thought this stuff was so much slower. Oh, that's right. They finally fixed the mining speed. That's why. Yes. Yes. Give me all the blue ice. Remember when packed ice and blue ice had just the slowest mining speed in the world? You couldn't instant mine them? Oh, that was such a good bug to fix. But then block lag is a thing. But now we got a, like, a solution to block lag. So, not that big of a deal. Yes. Much blue ice. I love it. We're going to get a couple stacks of this stuff since it's so easy now. May as well. I thought it was going to be a lot slower and more tedious. Yeah, I'm breaking is still broken. Still very broken. But it's not like that bad. Is that a water cave right there? Is that a ravine? Oh, it's just a water cave. Interesting. Usually you don't see those poke through to the top. Like with the magma blocks and stuff. Yeah, it was such a pain to mine ice that slow. It's still relatively slow to mine now. But, like, it's not that bad, you know? It's not terribly bad. Especially once you get a big patch like this and you got your aqua affinity. If we had a conduit over here, this would be way quicker as well. Because conduits give you... Uh, I think they give you haste, don't they? So you can instant mine things? Conduit power is actually a really OP like thing. I'm a fan of it. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and collect all of these guys. So the reason why we need so much blue ice is because we're going to have multiple ice streams. Uh, the, the you know, I'll explain more in a minute. It's kind of hard to explain when we're not in the creative world. But yeah, we need multiple, multiple ice streams in order for us to be able to sort and store all of our materials. It's a really annoying thing. It's so annoying. But this is the solution that we have to have to uh, actually store items from our Pikmin trading hall. It's great. <laughs> the storage system is going to be such a pain in the butt, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We'll head over to Creative in a minute and uh, show exactly what's happening. Also, uh, Xbyte, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the biddies. How you doing? Okay, so Bedrock Edition flying machines are extremely specific. Uh, if you watch my, like, sugarcane farm tutorial or the blaze farm, you'll see how to build the flying machine that works. Uh, the terracotta flyer from Blazing King. Works really well. Very reliable. Hasn't broken in, like, all of the other, uh, all of the updates. Never had any issues in general. It's just great. It's a beautiful flying machine. I've used it so many times. Ah, come on, just let me get in there. <laughs> okay, is that all the blue ice that we got over there? So we got a lot of three and a half stacks. Uh, that'll give us... We need to get a full four stacks. That way we can make eight ice streams that are 32 blocks long. Oh, I highly doubt they're ever going to add TNT duping. We might accidentally have it at one point, but... Yeah, probably not intentional. At least now, mob farms actually work pretty well, so we don't really need it now. You don't really have to do giant perimeters or anything just to have stuff work. <laughs> it's great. Mob despawning is an amazing feature. Yeah, that bamboo farm is actually pretty overpowered. We built two of those last season really really good okay so that should be all the blue ice that we need we got a little bit of packed ice just for giggles and we'll be great now we can get on out of here uh which way is the actual back to the base i always forget this you guys know the coordinates to spawn though don't you i should be remembering them at this point okay so oh here's the guardian farm right here okay yeah let's just go Wow, we could just go through this portal the entire time instead of flying here. That makes a lot of sense. Cool, we'll just go back through the nether then. I had no idea. No ideas. Why is the stream so quiet? I don't know! It should be louder. <laughs> is it quiet? Usually, usually more people say you might just need to turn up your volume. Or like the little volume settings for the stream. Not like your actual device volume, but like the actual stream volume. It, it could be a thing. Hello, Silent! Hi, Senor. Senor? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, before we head over to Creative, we're going to do a couple of different things. Wow, that's very flashy. We're going to go ahead and name some items and do some of the Pico Point redemptions and overall just be a good thing. <laughs> we got all the blue eyes that we should ever need. Uh, we might need to go get more, or we might need to get another four stacks at some point, but for now, that should be plenty, I think. Hey, we got creepers dying in that thing. How's the mob farm doing, by the way? Look at that, not too bad on the gunpowder. Or the string. Or the bones. Nice. I like it, mob farm's doing really good. Okay, so what do we got for these things? We got some emote-only chats. Uh, we'll do one of those after we do a couple other things. We got some butcher some names. What do we got in here? Uh, a thumper requests Yasin Abdavisca. Hmm. Ad Abda <laughs> Abdavisca. Yeah, Yasin Abdavisca. Something approximately near that. That's kind of a cool name. Yasin. Nice. I like it. <laughs> uh. And then it's a dab request, John Cena, like with a J, John, 
Juan, Juan Cena. <laughs> Don't want to mispronounce his name. He'll mess you up. Don't mess with John Cena. Uh uh. Don't mess with John Cena. Uh, that's not that. Do a gold farm. You pig. That's a name. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do Pigo Trader once we get back over there. Uh, let's see. Name an item. We got a bunch in here. Oh, yeah. We got to name a hoglin head. So, we have a few of those, actually. Yeah, a hoglin head. Great. We're going to name this guy Porky. Yeah. Porky is his name. Shall we give it a color? What What's a good color? I'm going to think yellowish orange. Yeah, this one. That way it's kind of like, you know, the, the same color as him. Yeah, Porky. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Fox. Welcome to the stream. Mmm, tasty. Don't eat the hoglins. Ho okay, I can't really say that. I'm eating one right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take a stack of chicken. <laughs> Which isn't really much better, honestly. Uh, we have, like, a lot of a lot of pork chops just from uh, being over there. Unbreaking book is never gonna break a block. Oh, we have some unbreaking books, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh... The, the Rickroll ones. Never gonna break a block. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna give you up. Or run around and desert you. <laughs> okay, that's where the rest of our cooked chicken goes. So, yeah, we got a lot of things. We're about to go do some in-city raiding. Probably eventually. I don't know. I don't really want to die, but I mean, assuming someone beats the dragon, we'll we'll be able to go do more end city raiding. At which point, we shall have many many diamond gears for you guys to be able to rename. Uh, thank you, Umbras, for naming that one. Uh, we don't have any beet roots, so we can't name one from but not real. Oh yeah, we can name chests in our storage system. By the way. This is something that you guys might not realize. So if we get ourselves a chest and we put this into an anvil and then we name this thing subscribe 300k soon <laughs> and then we put this on the floor, you'll see that its name is subscribe 300k soon. Yeah. So you can like name a chest. So that's something that you guys can do if they name an item as well. Oh yeah, name it Carved Pumpkin. That's another good one. Do we even have any shears? Surely we got some shears. We got one durability shears. They didn't break. <laughs> we'll keep those for another day. <laughs> we got some seeds from that? Ooh, gross. Nobody wants seeds. Ugh, go away. Is my water bucket named? Uh, no, I think these things actually lose their name every time you empty them. But we can try naming it. Why not? It's faux ox. Oh, oh, I see. Well, I'm bad at saying names. <laughs> what would I do with the Zoglin escaped? Uh, probably run. <laughs> Just as simple as that. Just run. Okay, so name a carved pumpkin. Don't tell me you're too blind to see. This one's from Pizza Kitten. That might be too long of a name. Okay, not even, don't tell me your, you are, yeah, you, you're too blind, yeah, well, why not, good enough, <laughs> thank you Pizza Kitten for that one, much appreciated, um, name a pair of pants, Pigo Pants, we'll save that one for later, we need more pants, and then we don't have any beet roots, oh yeah, then we gotta name the slime, slime heads as well. Yes. I like naming all the things. You guys got good names. So all of these beautiful little slime heads on the Slimther are going to be named Jim, Joe, and Jerry. <laughs> Jim, Joe, and Jerry. That's how we're doing things. 
Uh, let's see. Two is mime. Let's see. Oh, Jeff, Joe, and Jerry. I see. I like Joe better. Or Jim better. Jeff. Joe. I'm doing this right, right? Jeff. L middle. Joe is the left. Wait. To the right one. Jeff is in the middle. Joe's in the left. Jerry. Okay, one of the, uh, the... The thing is confusing. You guys need to be more specific when it comes to uh, these redemptions. <laughs> Great. We got the three of these guys. They're cute. Look how cute yeah. these are. Now, whenever we pick up the mob heads, they're going to lose their name. So, technically, we can name things multiple times. Do Jim, Jell, and Jerry. <laughs> uh. Uh, we don't have a custom player heads thing. Oh, I think I put those on backwards. Yeah, it's Jerry, Joe, and Jeff. Well, if you read it from the right to the left, it's Jeff, Joe, Jerry. There we go. That's proper. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we only have put out the mob heads. We don't put out the player heads. Uh, thank you, Drake45, Pat, for requesting that one. Much appreciated. We still got a lot of other things that we need to name, like 10 other things, but we don't have the items needed to name them, so it's like, what you gonna do, right? Oh, we get a dolphin head and a squid head? Yeah, we can try and do those. Should we get some mob heads right now, or do you guys want to go over to creative and do mob heads later? You gotta go to bed. See you later, EE. -E. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you had fun. Thanks for being here. All right, so Porky's gonna go on our nether portal. We have a nether portal? Which nether portal? I guess we can put it on the main spawn nether portal. Mob heads. Uh, go and creative mob heads, creative, creative, mob heads, mob heads. Uh, looks like it's kind of an even split. I really wanna get myself a squid head, so let's go do that. Oh, there's one on that armor stand. I gotta steal that. <laughs> okay, so J-Rex requests a squid head and Papa Bear requests a dolphin head. So we'll be out here for a minute. Oh, wait, we need to go get our Riptide. Riptide! Look at all these lighting glitches. Oh, jeez. Spread, they're never gonna fix the lighting bugs, are they? Uh, where's our Riptide at? Here it is. Paling five, Riptide three. We got that from an enchantment table, actually. Nope, I'm making an exec I'm making an executive decision. We're doing the, the mob heads. <laughs> I don't make many decisions for myself. This is one of them. It shouldn't take too long to get a squid head or a dolphin head. They they drop pretty quickly, actually. They drop pretty frequently. Hey, look at that. We got a dolphin head. There we go. Not too shabby, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> now we got to find some squids. Uh, let's see. I'm the only one online right now. We should have a beautiful amount of spawns. Great. Yeah, so we can just go back and forth and we should see some guys spawn. Cool. Minecraft says don't kill dolphins, you monster. But I'm going to do it anyway. Can you stop it? There's nothing in there. Sadness. There's anything down here? There's nothing down there. Sadness. It's nothing but hope and despair. <laughs> Give me a squid head. Hey, we got one. Third try. Nice. Not too bad. This is actually such a cute head. Look at that. It's so dorpy. Dorpy? Yeah, dorpy is a word. So dorky and derpy. Dorpy. <laughs> it's dorpy. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> uh, I wish I could put this in my offhand. I'll just carry it around all the time. <laughs> it's very gruesome to just, like, carry around the head of a, like, murdered animal. But at the same time, it's so dorky. Look at it. <laughs> uh, we got some squid teas in the chat as well. Oh, that's so good. I love mob heads. It's the best thing. 
We'll put this one away because we have a couple of them laying around. Uh, thank you, Papa Bear and J-Rex for requesting those. Uh, we got a bunch of others that we need to do as well, but again, they're all mobs that we need to like specifically go look for. What's your name? Collect the head, take a break. Uh, we might take a break in a little bit later. Okay, let's head over to Creative now, and I'll show you my idea for how we're going to fix issues. Also, I need to get the bug report. Let me get the bug report. Because I need you guys to do something for me. I need you to do me a favor. And that favor is just going to the bug report and clicking a button. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, let me find the bug report. Close Discord again. Go to the bug tracker so I can get a link to the bug report. That's the feedback sign. Dang it, bookmarks. Come on. What are you doing? Help me out here. Bug tracker. Elevator music. Elevator music. Da, 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 da. Elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's the bug report. Spamming that in the chat. Go go, click on that link. Sign into your Mojang account. Do whatever you gotta do. Upvote that thing. Because it's so annoying. I'm gonna show you what the bug is. So, it's over here. You're gonna see a, a little bit of a rant about this in the next episode. So, as you can see, this hopper right here has obsidian in it. This is like, just assume that this is an item filter, basically. So, if we put a piston in there, bam, that's basically how an item filter is made. Just assume it's an item filter, okay? And same thing goes with a hopper minecart. Just assume that this is an item filter. So, of course, if we throw an item on top of there, bam, it's gonna go into the thing, it's gonna get filtered. The only thing that these hoppers or hopper minecarts can pick up is obsidian. If we try and throw like an iron block on there, uh-uh, that ain't gonna work. It's not gonna go in there. Throw an ender chest, uh-uh, ain't going in there. It's not gonna fit. It's not obsidian. Only thing these things can pick up is obsidian. As you can see there, perfect example. However, if we then go ahead and throw one item on there and then throw obsidian, it's not gonna get picked up. <laughs> Same thing goes on the side. Bam and bam. Ah! So frustrating. This is the reason why none of our other storage tech works. All of the stuff that we've done, all of the double speed and quad speed item sorters that we've done are completely broken and very pointless due to this one simple bug. Everything else we can work around. The chunk borders not allowing items to be filtered, we can work around. The off-centered hitbox of items making things directional, we can work around. But this one... No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So yeah, go up vote the bug report! Rawr! Bug report in the chat. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. How many upvotes does that even have? It's been around since 1.14, apparently. 63. Can we get that to like a thousand? <laughs> oh, I would like to see that get fixed soon. So the reason why this happens, people went through the code of the game. Uh, basically, these things are stacked together as like one thingy, and then the hopper is only reading the first thing and the list of items above it. It's not reading the entire list. So if the hopper was reading the entire list of items above it, then it could actually like pick up the items that it could. Uh, but instead, it's only reading the first item. It's seeing, hey, I can't pick up that item. So it's not trying to pick up anything else in that entire stack, which is really annoying very frustrating that makes it very much impossible to do things that's so sad and ah uh, yeah pretty much how do i vote this uh so if you go to the bug tracker and then you might need to make an account and or sign in with your current existing mojang account uh then you just you know go sign in then just click the little uh vote button on the side so it's gonna say vote for this issue hit that button and then you voted for it uh, you can also watch it as well, and then you get, like, emails about what happens to it. Uh, right now, it's not slated to be fixed in any updates. It's confirmed. It affects multiple platforms. It is on the internal bug tracker, where the developers are actually paying attention to it, which is good. And it also affects future 1.16 betas, from what I can tell. Yeah. It's not a good bug. I don't like it. Hello from Colombia. Hello there. How you doing? Colombia's cool. You know, guys, this is bedrock. Don't be surprised. Yeah, but lack like, still. We can try and fix. We can try and fix. 
We can help developers fix. So that's what we do. Very annoying bug. Anyway, so the solution to that problem is only ever have a single item above your hopper. Only ever have a single item above your hopper. So how do you do that? Well, you can't just like, you know, use this system. You have to split up the items, right? You have to split them up and shoot them out individually over all of the other hoppers. So there's only ever one item above the hoppers or the hopper minecarts. And then that's what you gotta do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a system like, where did it go? It's over here. We're gonna set up a system like this, where we split items into like eight different ice streams, a two in that direction, two in that direction, two in that direction, two in that direction. And then we'll have single speed item filters along the entire stretch of this thing. And then every single one of these will handle 9,000 items per hour. We're gonna have to have uh, 15 different types of items being sorted on either side. So we'll have like quartz and soul sand and gravel and nether bricks. And then on this side, quartz, soul sand, gravel, nether bricks, quartz, soul sand, gravel, nether bricks. Quartz, soul sand, gravel, nether bricks, etc. Quartz, soul sand, gravel, nether bricks. 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 Yeah, so you get the point. We'll have every single item being filtered on every single side. Anything that does not go into an item filter will be a non stackable item. And then we'll dump those all into a hopper line and go into a different chest, basically. Glad you could catch a stream. Your old name was PP. Hi, how you doing? Carbarjar. That's kind of a fun name to say. Carbarjar. Carbarjar. Glad to see you back in another stream. So that's my idea. Do you guys see any immediate flaws with this idea? I've already set up the basic system here. So we're gonna have uh, the hoglin, the piglins throwing all the items into the center, collected by hopper minecarts. That's gonna split it up into eight different streams, and then that's going to. Uh, send it into eight different dropper systems, which will be on about as fast of a clock as we can handle. And then after the items that fall down right here, they'll already be aligned. They'll get launched by the slime blocks, go off into 40 different item filters. And then that's just how we're going to have to do things. So we've got two on this side, and then basically this little system is just mirrored on all four sides. Um, so that's about it. We're going to have a little bit of a dead space right here in the corners, just so that item filters don't canoodle with each other and uh, mess each other up with the redstone. What are all the ways to join Whispercraft? The one and only way to join Whispercraft is to join the Discord, level up, and then apply. That's all there is to it. What are you doing? I'm late. We are trying to sort a million items. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, all Everything that you need to know about this cord can be found in the rules channel. Every single thing. Every single thing that you might want to know about the Discord is in the rules channel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and structure block this little section right here. And then just mess with that instead of messing with the entire thing. Uh, this was just like the little mock-up I built to attempt to figure out if this is actually going to work or not uh that actually looks like about exactly what we need we'll just put that right there bam that'll do everything that we need great and test one thousand <laughs> yeah <laughs> the amount of things that i've tried is uh ridiculous we're gonna put this over here because why not it's not like I ever have a consistent area to build in the nether. Uh, isn't there a bug with items not going to hoppers that are moving along the ice currently? Or is that just... Uh, that's the same bug. That is the same bug that we have. So the... The, um, the items won't go into the hoppers because there's too many items there. But also there's the hopper cooldown as well. The hopper cooldown is uh, the issue, so they only accept items like every 0.4 seconds. So with this system, we're not going to have that issue, I don't believe, because we're going to be sending one item at a time into the system. This is going to be the most tedious, annoying, slow, piece of crap system that you can have, but it's going to work. 
And if it doesn't work, this is literally the last idea that I have on how we can actually sort these items. So if this is not a functional idea, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's it. That's all I got. I've tried. I've tried all my ideas. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we definitely need offhand features. That's something that we need to get eventually. It'll come when it's ready. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and build a couple item filters real quick. Sees. Maybe I should have put this up in the air. Yeah, let's do that actually. Uh, save, grab that thing. Just gonna go ahead and put this up into the air. That was just a little bit easier to build. And then we can destroy all this. Yay! Destroying things is fun! Taking out internal rage on the external world by playing a video game! <laughs> Yeah, it could be very good. Like, if there wasn't this one bug... By the way, this bug. This bug right here in the chat. Go up about it. Uh, if there wasn't that one bug, then this system would work perfectly fine. Quad speed item pickup with double speed sorting. That's all you need. This system would work fine. It would be beautiful. If it doesn't work fast enough, we could extend it around the corner and, like, keep pushing the items around. But, um, yeah, it doesn't work as bugs. Uh, currently, we're not accepting anyone new to Truly Bedrock. Sorry. Just, uh, not, not happening at the moment. Okay, so the items can go like 38 blocks on Blue Ice, I believe. Something like that. It's like pretty far. It's far enough. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Also, we can churn these double chests so that we can have them like this, and then it's basically going to get filled up at double speed. Especially if we have like a double sorter, like two of the same filter going into one chest. That's probably what we want. And especially because we're going to have 34 long. Yeah, we could do double speed filters for everything, I think. We filter everything twice and then still have room. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. If you don't understand, just, just go with it. It's just the ramblings of a madman over here. <laughs> I've spent so much time trying to get these things to work recently. It's been ridiculous. Seriously, so much time. I guess I could have just structure blocked these into place, but you know what? We're already halfway through building it, so I'm just going to keep building it. It's relaxing. It's just chill. I think it'll work though. I legitimately think that it will. If this doesn't work, if this is a very, very bad solution to a very simple problem, then that's all I got. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing more I can do. Besides maybe build it correctly. Can I make a hoglin farm? I actually have one on the channel. I just released it a couple weeks ago. I have some ideas for a better hoglin farm, but may or may not make that. Okay, let's get some items, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and have diamonds as our filters. All right, we didn't install the resin torches. My bad. Mildly important. Diamonds as a filter blocks, because that's how we do things. Great. <laughs> you gotta go, but thanks for ruining your sleep schedule. Same! My sleep schedule's so bad. <laughs> Get yourself some sleep. Sleep is important. We'll see you in the next stream. Maybe. Maybe. Also, we got a ton of new followers, so thank you all so much for joining the community. Uh, Craven, Mr. Zen, Emma, TTTT man. Uh, Fox O. I'm still gonna say your name wrong. Sorry, this is how it is. <laughs> PS4 Gamer, Hydro, uh, Queen Con, Jep, and Bionican. Yeah. Amon, uh, Landus King, Roop for More, uh, Shunis Me, 
T Potato, and Mr. Alex Ninja Pro. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Also, on the diagonal, thank you so much for resubscribing for two months. Very nice of you. Hope you're doing good today. Uh, let's see. We don't need that hopper. We don't need that thing. We still got to contend with the items not being properly aligned because, you know, bugs. But whatever. Actually, we can test that over here. We got the... This system. Yeah, let's test this real quick. Are we going to have any issues with this? Items go in there. Items go in there. Those ones are kind of full, so that would explain why that doesn't happen. That kind of works. That kind of works. Yeah, okay, so it works in every direction in the nether. Great. Reliable. <laughs> uh aaron hart thank you so much for subscribing with your amazon prime much appreciated enjoy all of your lovely pico emotes what would happen if bedrock got zero tick redstone we have zero ticks uh we have we have quite a bit of that stuff i haven't delved into that stuff too much but we have we have quite a bit of stuff actually and shift space thank you for resubscribing for three months lol <laughs> how's their water in the nether uh just you know commands don't worry about it <laughs> okay so this is the system that we're gonna have we're gonna have the droppers getting powered by the redstone as you can see that is lay dropper and then the pistons that extend are gonna get powered by this redstone right here the redstone lines that do not canoodle uh so basically how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have livor and then we're gonna have the servers I, I don't know how we're gonna do like the actual redstone it's fine i'm not worried about figuring that out exactly right now uh we got a hype train going jeez <laughs> you guys are crazy thank you so much uh i'll get into that in just a second trying to do redstone and more things are happening okay so before i get behind uh jess jess nooner thank you so much for resubscribing for five months you're nearly at six months it's crazy Thank you so much. Also, zero cre zero cruel with 100 bits. Stream fee. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for the hype train. You guys are crazy. I love your faces. You've been a long time subscriber on YouTube. Just getting back into watching Twitch. Very nice. Twitch has actually improved a lot in the last couple months. And also, since we got partner as well, of course, everything's been way better. <laughs> Everything's better when we're a partner. <laughs> the entirety of Twitch just got better. Yeah, that's how we do things. You know it. But yeah, now we got channel points and stuff. There's a lot of good stuff happening on Twitch. Very good to see. Also, I signed up for Twitch Rivals. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we'll see if that happens. You might see a Twitch Rivals stream on the channel here soon. Okay, so is this actually going to work? That's the question. Is that even going to work? <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess we need to have some items and things for it to shoot out, don't we? Let's use some quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Stacking that one, stacking that one. That's going to go into that one. That's going to go into that one. They fire individually. Oh, right, so there's actually a one tick delay on those things. Why aren't these launching? Do we need to put that on the clock? Uh... So why isn't that getting powered? Is it trying to move something that it shouldn't? Oh, yeah, it's trying to move that. Whoopsie. My bad, I knew that was there. Just wanted to see if you guys would notice. <laughs> Great, so that should work now, right? Yeah. Cool beans. Great, so now we can set that up on a little clock. And we'll see exactly what happens. Uh, jankiest redstone in the world, not worried about it. Whatever, we'll fix it later. We'll fix it later, he says, 2,000 years later. Uh, I don't know how we're going to power that. Just like, just throw some redstone on it. At it. It'll be fine. There we go. 
Yeah, something, something like that, but not. Also, on the diagonal, thank you for the 100 bitties as well. Much appreciated. And Phantom, Phantom Zabar. Zaber. Phantom Zaber. Yes, that's how you say your name. <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing, Tier 1. Welcome to the Soylents. Enjoy your Pego emotes. How do I have something to say for this long? I have no idea. <laughs> I amaze that myself that I can talk for two hours straight and not run out of things to talk about. I don't know. I guess I've been streaming for years, so it just kind of comes naturally. I, I can fill the void with random noises. It it'll be fine. You guys will never notice. <laughs> Silent actually just wanted to make a turret that shoots items. Hey, don't be getting onto my evil plans. Jeez. It's a secret evil turret that shoots items, man. Come on, I'm trying to I'm trying to take over the world here. Ain't gotta like ain't gotta be like that. Okay, so we kinda need this to fire on two ticks. Some people stream for like twelve hours and always have something to say. Kind of amazing. Okay, let's uh, let's get a kill command in here because we need to kill some of these items. They're getting backed up. Kill at E type equals item radius equals 50 blocks. Always good to put a radius on kill commands. So let's see. Oh, is it shooting multiples at a time? Hold on. Four, six, eight, thirteen. Oh no, it's got to shoot a single item at once. Are we gonna have to slow this thing down like significantly? Yeah, let's put these on three ticks. And this triangle sign. Thank you very much for the hype for the hundred bits as well. And there goes the hype train. Much appreciated. We've had a hype train like every stream recently. It's been crazy. Y'all are insane. What did I do to you? I don't know. But y'all are crazy. Crazy. And then there's some emotes as well. I'm gonna get some actual like redemption, like things reasons for you guys to do hype trains uh just like events that we'll do at uh you know whenever we reach a hype train it'll be great all right we can't do that can we uh yeah we can't do that either ah oh, okay fine we'll have a piece of glass there that way we don't lock the hoppers piece of glass there piece of glass there cool Okay, so now it's launching a single item. Sometimes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, sometimes they get caught up. We need to fix that. We need to... We need to align the items, but also have them not get, like, caught up sometimes. Because they gotta be over the side. We can't use Hopper Minecarts. How are we going to do that? Oh, man. Uh, we can't have that dropping like that because it's just going to put it into the chest. Yeah, not what we need. Uh, what if we have it drop into an inner chest, though? How's that going to happen? Oh, okay. Well, now it's out of diamonds, but that might actually work. You see how it's kind of like launching down into the side? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Hey, sometimes inner chests are more helpful than you think. Can I explain how comparators work? Basically, comparators can read an inventory so they can see what's in an inventory. And depending on how much stuff is in an inventory, they put out a different signal strength. So more power. And then they can also read a signal strength. So they can... Like if you have a signal strength of like five, they'll read that and also put out five. Staircases work well for alignment. That's true. I was just about to do that. Uh, we need, like, a lot more items. Can we just get, like, a chest that we can just, like, pick block? I didn't want to, like... I was trying to, like, place and then drop. Thank you. Yeah, we need many, 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 many items. And, of course, we're going to be using diamond blocks. Oh, right. I use diamond blocks as my item filter material. That's fine. Whatever. The items gotta go fast. Yeah. 
Going fast is kind of a good thing, because then they go really far. Oops. Oh, whatever. But at the same time, not exactly what you want sometimes. So it's kind of fine that they land right here, because that's about where we're going to have our items anyway. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. I think we got this. So we're gonna have this times eight, basically. Is it just that block right there that messes them up? It seems kind of inconsistent without the chest. Like if you look at that one, it's kind of inconsistent. See like, yeah, sometimes they just bounce up. But if we have the chest there, then it just works all the time. Very consistent, which is kind of a rare thing. Kind of surprised that that happens. Okay. Let's go ahead and break this. We're going to put these on two ticks now. Uh, we're going to... Actually, no, let's keep that on three. We're going to put an ender chest in front of this guy. Just so that we can have a consistent thing on both. And then we'll try changing up the timings and making it as fast as we can. Four things humans will, never, will not understand. Life, death, love, and Minecraft comparator. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't get any of those things. The death? Sure, why not? Just non-existence. Love? Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> no thanks, not gonna try that. Uh, life? Eh. Random chance. Comparators? Oof, nope, not touching that 10-foot pool. Mm -mm. Do I know Pixar Riffs? Yes, I do. We played on Decided Vanilla. Uh, season 5. And then I... Yeah, we also did some collabs with him. Yeah, he's just a great guy in general. Would recommend. Is nice. is nice okay let's go ahead and set up some comparators on this side as well just so we can see where exactly items are ending up uh all oh right this is what we need to do over here so they're not gonna be like the first three blue ice or the first two depending on which side you're on is not gonna be helpful because that's not gonna be a possible area to sort because of the uh, canoodling and salty crabs thank you so much for subscribing with your amazon prime much appreciated. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Uh, Pig Pigo Trader is back in stock at the beginning of every stream. Speaking of that, we need to go back on the actual server soon. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. So, yeah, the first three, not necessary. We don't need those. Uh, everything is getting picked up into... Wow. Everything's getting picked up into that one now. If we go ahead and lock this, everything's gonna go into that one. That's fine. But now it's gonna go into that one. Okay. We just need to make sure that's consistent, mildly. As long as we can have even mild consistency. Oh, this is probably a chunk border. That's why. Yeah, let's get that chunk border resource pack on. What is Pigo Trader? Uh, we throw a piece of gold to a piglin and see what we get. Uh, let's see. Let's put on the chunk visualizer. Yeah, yeah. A tough decision has raised. Watch Will's Night stream or both. Or silence. Uh, watch both. Why not? Modern technology. Oh, it's not on a chunk border. Hmm. Strange. So, that one's not quite full. I don't know, guys. That one's fine. Oh, but then it just straight up skips two because of chunk border. Cool. And then it skips another one because reasons. Kind of. Ah, uh, it's not going to be consistent. Why? I think we got to slow it down more. Oh, you know what? We can put the levers on the stream, can't we? We There we go. So, hoppers everywhere. It's mildly consistent, kind of. 
I mean, this one's bound to be a little bit inconsistent, so I'm not too worried about that. But as soon as we get to, like, this point, then we need consistency. So confusing, right? Uh, no, I don't really do too many minigame servers or anything like that. But then it skips one. No reason. Yeah, I'll just skip that one last time, too. Why not? Let's mark that as a skipped. Oh, and then this one's gonna work now. Okay, sure. But this one's probably not. Oh, those two are. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. And then that one loses one sometimes as well. So this is what we got to put up with, guys. This is what we got to put up with. Welcome to Bedrock Edition. <laughs> the things that we have to deal with. <laughs> uh, I guess we can try using packed ice. Like, I guess. Yeah, if this doesn't work, this is my last idea. One item at a time. Ice streams. So the packed ice is a little bit slower than the blue ice. So it might be what we need. I don't know. I'm just... We got to try all of the things that we can here, you know? We got to try all of the things. Sad, confused noises, basically. <laughs> uh, no, packed ice can never melt, and blue ice can never melt either. Normal ice melts if it's next to a light source. Okay, so obviously these ones aren't going to get picked up, but that's fine, whatever. That one's never going to get an item either. Okay, so this is mildly inconsistent, but that's right next to like where they're landing, so I'm kind of expecting that. You see that they land, hit the ice right about here. So I'll mark that one as kind of randomly inconsistent. Power that guy. Move on to the next. That looks like it's working all right. Power that one. On to the next. That's working all right-ish. Power that one. On to the next. But then it skips that one because of course it does. We, we know that this one just gets skipped for no reason. Literally no reason why it should get skipped. But okay. Can items bounce on solid blocks? Uh, they, they won't have the speed needed if they're on solid blocks. So yeah, that one gets skipped. It goes into this one. If we power that one, then it goes into this one. Barely. You can see like the item actually goes over here, but it goes into this hopper. Like it's visually over here, but it goes into this one. So strange. If we power that one, it's going to skip both of those. Cool. No reason. Just, you know, straight up skips two. <sighs> Get skipped because it's bedrock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the items get bounced by the slime. Yeah. <laughs> and watch. It's probably going to be different on that side as well. Like, if we do the same test on that side, it's probably going to be different. So we have to... Ugh, okay. Um... So out of all of these, we have two, four, five, six that work. <laughs> uh, that one misses items. This one's inconsistent. This one misses items. This one misses items. So does that one. Great. Let's continue it on, shall we? How far out can these go? Continue it on down the line. Okay, so they go pretty far. They go all the way down to here just barely fall off that edge barely enough momentum strider be like spin me right round <laughs> oh yeah there's probably one in the background spin around they're kind of crazy sometimes <laughs> the things that i read just like randomly looking over in chat and reading the first thing i see like what <laughs> i need to i need to pre-read everything otherwise i get in trouble <laughs> crazy Okay, so these ones work, right? Kind of. Maybe. Oh, I see. Randomly inconsistent. Yeah, randomly inconsistent. This one is. So, we can't be using that one. Great. 
This one seems like it's all right. That one does fine. Great. Cool. Carrying on to the next one. This one does all right. Hey, look at that. It's doing good. Fancy. I bet the next one isn't going to work. Oh my god, the next one works. Is it going to be consistent? Is it going to be reliable? Is it going to do its job? It actually is. Okay, moving on to the next one. Oh, this one's kind of... It's, it's taking a minute to pick up those items. Oh, man. It works. See, once they go really slow, then it's actually reliable. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yep. Okay. I doubt we'll see many skipping over here. Probably once we get to the chunk border, then we might see one skip. Hi, Joe Jonas. Welcome to the stream. I knew some people were going to say creeper. Stop it. <laughs> uh, just bad. Dead song. Also, the mods really don't like it when you guys say that song. Like, they're so sick of it. <laughs> it gets it got spammed in the Discord for so long. It was ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, of all of the mods are just sick of it. Just don't even just don't even push it. <laughs> yeah. So see, once the items are going so slow, then it's reliable. Oh wait, why is there one in that one? Hold on. I'm paying too much attention to not paying attention. Yeah, I'll be making a tree farm tutorial here soon-ish. Uh, okay, that one works. I know this is slow and tedious, but this is what needs to happen for us to build nice things on the server. Slow and tedious. What do you guys think about doing a redstone testing stream with viewers? Let me put up a poll real quick. Uh, redstone stream with viewers. Because this is something that Raiseworks does all the time. And I think it would be pretty cool to do as well. Someone just suggested it to you. I was like, oh yeah, that is a cool thing that we could do. Uh, yes, no, maybe. Uh, sounds... Yeah, just that. Cool, so yeah, you can vote on that. What do you guys think? Hello, Foxic Waste. How you doing? Uh, so basically, a Redstone stream with viewers is where we use our community server. Because we have a community bedrock server that we can use for events or whatever. So we'll open up that world and host it. And then you guys can join the world. And then we can work on some redstone together. I think that could be really fun. Yeah, so basically we just play together and do some redstone. Uh, we would have to limit, limit it to people from the Discord. We kind of just have anyone from stream join. Um... That way we could, you know, kind of limit people and then have, like, actual consequences for actions. So we wouldn't be able to just, like, open up the IP or anything. It would definitely have to be whitelisted. But at the same time, yeah. Lag. Uh, if there's lag, then just refresh your stream. We shouldn't have any stream lag. We have a vocal input. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can always say things in the chat. Uh, for a stream of viewers, I'm not sure if we would have voice chat, though. It would probably just be me, uh, streaming. Having other people in the same stream with you, it's very risky, especially as, like, a Twitch partner. Uh, we gotta make sure that everything stays very on the up and up. It's like, if we just let anyone join a voice chat, you know some things are gonna get said that are gonna be a bad thing. Oh, there's a chunk border right here. This is probably gonna go bad, isn't it? Because all those hoppers are locked. Right, so these ones aren't going to catch anything. And of course, I'll be responsible for anything that people say. Why not put a... Why not put a block over the first ice block to stop the bounce? Uh, right here? Uh, we've tried that before. So, like, if we put a chest right there or something, then it's just going to... It's going to like bunch up the items and send them two at a time which is not good uh due to a bug uh yeah we could probably time this a little bit better but then again it's not really necessary whatever 
Uh, yes. Dang it, I clicked the X again. I'm trying to click the little arrow down. 89% of the vote for, was yes for that, though. Sorry, I, I, I didn't see the rest. I'm very bad at clicking the wrong things, apparently. Uh, Foxic Waste, so thank you so much for, uh, gifting a sub to Richest Live and Dream... Dream Obsession. Dream Obsession. I'm not sure, but thank you so much for gifting some subs. Much appreciated. Enjoy your gift of subs, guys. Thanks for being part of today's stream. And gifting another sub to Red Skull as well. Jeez. Many, many subs. And another one to Beast Boy. Beast Bay. <laughs> Oh, enjoy your gift of subs from Foxic. Make sure to show some love for Foxic in the chat, guys. I hope I'm saying that right. Foxic? I mean, there's a P right there. So it's like phone, but not phone. English is weird. Okay, let's test this side real quick, and then we'll see if this idea actually works. And then we need to wire up the, uh, the system down there to fire in eight different directions. It'd be crazy. And more gift of subs as well to Block Shift. Hey, Block Shift. And then also Mark Reds Gaming. Crazy. <laughs> and then a bunch of uh, emotes are being shared in the chat as well. Okay, so I think this one is kind of unreliable. Yeah, so that one's unreliable. Uh, these ones just straight up never catch items, except that one, which caught an item. Very strange. Is this one... Yeah, no, this one's unreliable. Is that one gonna be reliable? Oh, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Oh, place your bets now. Seems like it's good. What about the next one? Is it reliable? Is it not? Is it gonna have massive weird issues for no actual reason because it's Bedrock Edition? No, it's not. This one's not reliable. That one misses items. Uh, oh, it actually does line up with the other side. Interesting. Yeah, so far this lines up with the other side. Fascinating. Okay, so there's some amount of reliability to the unreliability. Who's the best builder on Truly Bedrock? I have no idea. Uh, probably between Beardstone, Jesse. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not builder person. Hey, my mic fell to the side. Why has it got to do that? It's so weird. Okay, so that one works. Wait, we don't have the comparators. Right. I didn't get the comparators in there. I kind of want to use blue ice, especially if it's going to have the same amount of reliability as packed ice. We can get a lot more item filters in here. And it may not be relative to the speed at which the items are going if we're... Uh, Like, item speed might not be the contributing factor if it's the same on both sides, even if we're using packed and blue ice, which is very fascinating. What we're doing right now, we're trying to figure out why redstone is broken. See, then it skips these two, so it is the same on either side, regardless of uh, what's happening. Strange. Very strange. Very strange indeed. And then, uh, those two are reliable. See, this one right here is unreliable. That's a difference on that side. Hmm. I'm guessing we're going to start seeing some discrepancies between the two versions on this side. Also, we can speed this up just a little bit. I should have done this a while ago. Let me do a thing. Hold on. Doing the thing, Julie. Ma -da -da -da. And what are we doing? There's a lot of Streamlabs instances. There it is. Boop. There we go. Speed up the game just a little bit for this. So that one's reliable, that one's reliable, that one's reliable, that one's reliable. Great. Yeah, so once you get down to these ends, everything's just lovely. Peaches and roses. Is that the saying? I don't know. Bugs are bad, but at the same time, the entire reason we need this system... Oh, it's not breaking on a chunk border. Fascinating. 
The entire reason we need this system to be so powerful is because we're using bugs <laughs> to get millions of items an hour from our piglins. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, and then it's reliable all the way down, baby. How far does this even go? It's very important that we know how far it goes. Also, a random question. Do Striders drop saddles when you kill them? Because saddle farm. Uh, I didn't really see a saddle. Time to get cooking for lunch. Very nice. Have a good one. See you later, block shift. It doesn't seem like it's the item that the, that the, the speed that the items are launched. Because it's the same on either side. Or, well, uh... Yeah, launching speed. It might be launching speed. It's not sliding speed, though. It's not sliding speed. Because it's the same on both sides, except this one right here. Which we could retest this. Let's, uh... Go ahead and make sure that this is actually the appropriate... Result. So that one's fine. Oh, whoops. I gotta test this with both of them open, don't I? <laughs> so yeah, that one's reliable. That one's reliable. This one is not reliable. Yeah, so that's actually... Right, so there's a small discrepancy here with that one being unreliable and then that one being unreliable, which is strange. But all the rest of these are reliable all the way down the line. So... That's fine. Also, I think we finally ran out of diamonds. We've gone through an entire chest of diamonds. <laughs> a little bit crazy, isn't it? So yeah, all these ones get... So now they're starting to get piled up down here near the end. What can you do, right? So all of them will go basically to here. Yeah, that's the farthest the things can go. How many filters can we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26. We can have 26 filters on one side. Oh, I guess 25 because they need to drop down right there into another hopper. Okay, that's not too shabby. That's pretty all right, you know. That's pretty good. 25 on one side. It's reliable once the entity has stopped bouncing. Are these ones bouncing though? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're hitting and then just going straight down. Uh, let me undo speedy speed. Also, Foxic gifting more subs. Uh, thank you for gifting a sub to CDA. Much appreciated. Enjoy your gifted sub, CDA. And welcome to the stream as well. And also, we got a whole bunch of new followers as well. Welcome, everybody, to the silence. Hope you're enjoying today's stream. Go Blue, a Bammy Pants, a Red Skull, and IBC Spook Bird. And Beastie, Rainbow, the Guitar Guy, uh, Hashtag Trippin', <laughs> uh, Rich is Live, Jay, uh, I'm not reading that name, because that's definitely a troll name, Jessier, and Dal. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Are they bouncing, though? Here, you know what? We can do something. We can do anti-speed. We can do anti-speed, guys. No, they're they're landing and going straight down. Like they're they're not bouncing. They bob up and down, of course, but that's just what items do. You see items just bob up and down visually. But yeah, they're they're just they're just landing and not they're not bouncing. I don't think that they're bouncing. This is magic. We don't talk about the magic that happens. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and try putting these guys on a four tick clock. That way they, the pistons fire after the item lands. Hopefully that'll work.
Uh, we might need to put this on five, actually. Uh, yeah, and then we gotta move this thing a little bit further back. Yeah, so it's actually, uh, it's, it's a program that makes it go quicker. I don't really want to share details, but I only use it for, uh, for, like, actual redstone testing like this. It's so convenient to be able to speed up the game for testing. The amount of life hours that has literally saved me is in the trillions. See you later, Foxic. Thank you so much for stopping by and also for gifting a bunch of subs to the community. Uh, did you happen to do that because of the leaderboard? Hmm. See, leaderboards are dangerous. What is the leaderboard? Yeah, minus was at five. Hmm. Hmm. Sketchy. <laughs> anyway, I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for gifting subs to everybody. That's really kind of you. It's just really nice of you in general. Hopefully everybody enjoys their subs. Okay, so it now launches the items once they have actually hit the floor, meaning that they're not bouncing at all. And that means that these ones are a little bit more reliable. We can redo these tests and see uh, if they're more reliable now than they were before. This is on the same speed clock. Uh, we're just delaying the activation of the pistons. Uh, I believe it was on a four tick clock before. We could probably try and speed this up actually. Can we put this on a two tick clock? Oh no, I stopped flying. I'm still not flying. It's very difficult to fly when you're going slow for some reason. Uh, yeah, that just doesn't work. Okay, so let's do two there, two there. Was that on five ticks? That was on five ticks. Uh, three, three, one, two. There we go. Oh, I think they're still, yeah, they're still bunching up, aren't they? Yeah, we can't have them bunching. No bunching. Three tick clock. A three tick clock will work. Okay, so we can speed it up a little bit. That's good. Uh, we gotta make it go as fast as possible, basically. Ideally, we could uh, make it go a lot faster. So we're gonna have eight of these. I mean... How many items do you think this is spitting out at a time? Because that, de that determines the rates at which we'll be able to farm items. I don't know. It's it's a difficult thing. Ugh, we're going to have to do a lot more testing. <laughs> I wanted to have this Truly bed Bedrock episode out today. But as you can see, things just take a long time to do. Things just take forever. But at least now we can, I mean, in theory, fit in more item filters. But not really. Very slow. It is very slow. Each one of these is, you know, shooting out not that many items. Uh, this is n standard game speed, so it's shooting out one per second. <laughs> uh, one per second, that's 3,600 an hour, 7,200 for one side, uh, 1,440, then 2,880. Yeah, so 28,800 items an hour. It's not it's not a million items. Hmm. Not much we can do. This is how we got to work around the bugs. <laughs> I guess we could uh we could work on a system to make this launch items way quicker. Uh but then again, we got to keep in mind that the the hoppers have a cooldown so we can only launch items so quickly before they start missing items a lot and that's no fun and also we still gotta align the items properly so that they actually you know go where they should 
But yeah, let's try this real quick. We're just gonna go ahead and do a quick test to see just how far we can actually do this. Just how far we can push it. Uh, we're gonna have a repeater right here because that's how we're powering it on the actual system. Making it go faster is really gonna be the thing that we need to do. <laughs> if we can't make it go faster, that's just sad, but I mean, until, until the bug is fixed, this is what we can do. This is the bug that we need to have fixed. Fix the bug, vote for it. Uh, I've never heard of the pick rate mod. I don't know what that is. Possibly. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's a system that works for slowing down the game. Okay, let's try out that, shall we? Uh, looks like might need to adjust that a little bit. Yeah, so that actually does launch it. Uh, but, well, they're not lined up on that side. They're lined up on this side. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really have that. So we got to raise this up again. That's why that's why I was up one higher. See, now it's actually lined up on that side. Ah, things are, things are complicated. <laughs> Rips. That is kind of nice that it was lined up, though. That's mildly surprising. I guess we could use that, couldn't we? Yeah, if we just put the droppers right here. We could use that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. That could work, actually. We just have to change the placement of the droppers. Oh, wait. That's too far over? Maybe. Maybe. But now where are the items going? Seven thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Is it not firing? Oh right, it's not firing because uh, reasons. <laughs> we're getting there. We're 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 nearing nearing goodness. Mind the diamonds everywhere. Not mine, cheese. Mind. Okay, see, now they just drop out right there. I mean, it's not quite what you want. So if we have a solid block underneath it, they land over there, but they don't slide. Uh, we need to adjust that. See, now they actually get launched. Okay. See, if we have a solid block, they don't slide. Right, right, right. Okay, fair enough. Yep. If we have an inner chest, they still don't slide. Huh. Oh, uh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I think we gotta raise it up. Shame. Shame. Okay, now there's just too many diamonds everywhere. What if we shoot it from the block below the slime block? Oh, yeah, if we send the items upwards like an item elevator? Oh, that's actually a great idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but then they won't be aligned is the issue with that. So they'll be on the floor, but they won't be aligned. That's that's the secondary issue. So we got to shoot them into like this for them to be aligned, right? But then we also have to time it so that the item hits the floor before it actually gets launched by the sticky piston. So let's let's do let's do some more things. Uh, let's switch out that so that, that fires instantly, and then we'll try activating the piston on a delay. It's messy redstone right now. That's what we're going for. That's getting closer. Two ticks. Um. Nope. 
Timings are not my strong suit. Hey, there we go. That works. Okay. So that's on a two tick clock compared to this one on a three tick clock. And then there's no bouncing. So it'll be more reliable. Do you think we can make it faster? Do you think we can make it faster? So two tick clock and one repeater, that works. Let's try one tick clock again. Then we need to add a slight delay to the piston without bunching the items. I feel like that one's actually launching further than those ones are. So yeah, the items are further up. Uh, maybe, maybe if we do something like that. No, not quite. Hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, timings. Timings are numb, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dropper ticking. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, I'm so used to it by now. <laughs> uh, let's turn down the game music. Sorry. Or the game sound. Oh, sorry. I know. I'm, I, I'm so used to piston noises at this point. It doesn't even bother me. I, I honestly had not heard it. It, it's just, uh, <laughs> it was just turning into white noise. Also, yeah, this redstone, it's not meant to be nice or pretty. We can do this way better, but why, why bother? It's just gonna get ripped out. I'm kind of fine with this. Honestly, as long as we don't have item bunching, then just about anything will work. See, that one's got item bunching, but does it? I mean, it looks like they should be bunching, but uh, we got too many diamonds in our inventory to see. <laughs> Six, seven. Yeah, they're not actually bunching. Item physics. <laughs> How long have we played? Well, we've played over 5,000 hours, uh, but they recently reset everyone's time. So we've got zero hours. So annoying. This doesn't count time in creative worlds, apparently. It doesn't count time in, in creative worlds, because we've played so many hours since they've reset it. Uh, I wonder if we can see that from Xbox. Let me go over to the Xbox app real quick and see what's up with that. Oh, wait, then there's the issue of, is this too fast for hoppers? Yeah, because we can speed it up all we like, but if it's too fast for the hopper cooldown, then it doesn't matter. Uh, we gotta go over here, apparently. Uh, looks like it's actually hopper speed. What? Beautiful. Yeah, it's not getting backed up at all. Look at that. So we got a hopper speed item transport. That's actually very nice. That is very nice to see. I'm surprised that this isn't bunching, like, at all. I don't know if we have some sort of perfect harmonious synchronization, but, like, beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me go over to Xbox app real quick, because I'm pretty sure they still show you your time over there. They better. How much time do I got on this thing? I have rank one of monsters killed. Okay, time played, 194 days. Yeah. Smitrix has 400 days? Jesus, Smitrix. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> uh, I've traveled 727 million blocks, though. 727 million. Far lands, apparently. That's what I'm thinking. Does that mean that we lose items? Uh, no, we don't lose any items with this system. Uh, they reset the data, but I don't think that affects anything. Yeah, so this is legitimately just like a perfectly harmonious system that just works. It, it just works. Uh, well, the first one was bunched, but that's fine. 
Oh, but now it's not. Is that going to be an issue? Is it going to be unreliable? You see, now it's, now it's like doing the thing. Doing the bouncy thingy. It's probably due to random update order. So, like, if the piston fires first, then I'm assuming that that's what happens. But if the dropper fires first, then they probably go and go and do that. Hmm. Rookie numbers. Yeah, definitely rookie numbers. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a storage system that can store a million items from piglins because they trade so many items in fact they trade like millions of items per hour as you can see lots of items so we're gonna launch them along water or ice streams like this uh so yeah it's kind of crazy but because of bugs this bug in particular which you should definitely go upvote uh to get fixed they we can't do nice things like if we throw a repeater on there and then a piece of obsidian Hopper's not going to pick up the obsidian. Really lame bug. Really, really lame. So that makes it that we have to do this kind of sorting system where we have to collect all the items and divvy it up in between eight different ice streams like you're seeing down here and then have tons of item filters, tons of duplicate item filters, like basically eight filters per item, just standard single speed filters. And then we're going to be able to collect the items that way. Why is that green? Uh, this, uh, that's a sub chunk border. It's a texture pack. Not, n nothing special. That's also due to a texture pack that shows that the hopper is unlocked. So if we go ahead and power that thing, it'll turn red. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so if this is hopper speed, that's 9,000, 18,000, 36, that's 72,000 items per hour compared to 28. Is that right? I think that's right. 9, 18, 32, uh, 64. Wait. 9, 18, 36. 36, 74. Yeah, 74,000. Yeah. I know, I know numbers. Yeah. 74,000 an hour. <laughs> uh, we just need to rely, we just need to refine this thing. That way it's more reliable. Because right now, depending on which one fires first, you're not going to have perfect reliability. Oh, look at that. It got into the chest. So is that going to work every single time? Is it always going to be exactly the same? It kind of looks like it, but we got to test it multiple times. Yeah. Are we going to do a video on this? Yeah, this is going to be the next Truly Bedrock episode. It was supposed to be out today, but I had to scrap like 20 minutes of footage. And I just kind of gave up at it at like 3, 4 in the morning last night. So that's why there's no episode today. Uh, but this will be coming out on Tuesday. So basically spoilers for that entire episode. <laughs> oh, it seems like it's firing further now. Hold on. Yeah, so they're landing approximately right there. There's so much randomness all the time in Bedrock Redstone. It's uh, just a very... Very important thing to keep your eye out on. Foxy did a leg reveal. <gasps> a leg reveal? I gotta see this. A leg reveal? What a madman. Absolute mad lad. That's what I'm saying. Scandalous, even. Yeah. <laughs> you think he shaved his legs before he did a leg reveal? <laughs> Okay, so this is basically what we're going to have to do. So we're going to re refine this system over here to shoot items way quicker than this. So this is a good test of just like what we're going get to be getting into. And then this is like the actual speed that we're going to be sorting these items. So that's pretty good. This is hopper speed, 74,000 items an hour. It's, it's not really that great. Uh, I guess if we wanted to get really far into it, we could um, set up this to be a 16 stream. And then that would be whatever, 74 times 248,000 items an hour? Hold on, let me get the calculator. How many of these ice streams are we going to need 
in order to reach a million items. Nine times, it's just 20. That's 180, oof. <laughs> okay, so nine times 50. <laughs> nine times 110. 990, oh Jesus. Okay, nine times. We would need basically like a hundred and like eleven water streams. <laughs> we would need uh, we would need so many of these things. Jeez. Yeah, we would need a hundred and eleven of these ice streams in order to sort a million items an hour. Hundred and eleven. And then every single one of those ice streams is going to have to have, you know, 30 item filters. And, well, no, I guess at least 15. So, okay, 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 fine. Let's do some more math. 111. Right? That, that was the number. So if we have 15, wait, how many actual items do we have to sort? We got a chest over here with a minute. Uh, where'd the chest go? Chest is right here. So we got to sort 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different items. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Uh, 13 times 111. That's 1,443 different item filters that we would have to have if we use this system in order to get a million items. <laughs> oh... Why can't we just have nice things? Like, we could set up a triple, quadruple, even octuple systems of this to handle the million items. But, uh... 111 of these water streams. Of these ice streams. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Just because... Bugs. Bugs! Bugs, bugs, bugs. Many bugs. A trillion. A million. Not even a trillion, just a million. Well, that's that's where we're at on that project. I suppose if we can get it to be double double hopper speed per stream, that's gonna really help. But even then, the item collection of hoppers, like the, the cooldown speed of hoppers, is going to be the issue. So, yeah, we need to be able to dispense an item, let it hit the ground or whatever, then launch it at double hopper speed or 18,000 items an hour. If we can do that, then we can really start looking at some legitimate storage options. Um, but until then, that's the solution that we have. I don't think it's a particularly good solution, but it's just, uh, it's just, it's what we got. But yeah, double speed sorting is what we're going to have to look into. Double speed sorting. I suppose we could stack here. Let's go back to creative. I got some ideas now. <laughs> we could stack these, like, launching systems. So we can have, like, two of these on top of each other. Bam, 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 bam. And then that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, no, we can't do that because the, the items would. Yeah. I mean, maybe if we, like, perfectly timed it so there's only ever one item above the hopper to work around with that bug. But, yeah, we're, we're limited by that. We can only have one item per block before things start to break because of bugs. So there's only so many solutions. Useless idea. Why not make an Instagram account for PTB? Uh, there is actually an account for that. Killer Drone made it. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it exists. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode of Truly a Bedrock live streaming. <laughs> it's mostly not even on the Truly Bedrock server. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. We're going to go raid someone right now. So you can look forward to that. Stick around for that. Let's see. Who do we want to raid? Is there anyone streaming Truly Bedrock? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Truly Bedrock. Uh, no, we're the only people streaming Truly Bedrock right now. 
let's see. Maybe we'll go ahead and raid. Uh, let's go raid Repeaks. Why not? Enjoy Repeaks' stream. I'll see you guys over there as well. Of course, make sure to drop a follow and say hi to Repeaks. Put some hashtag silence in the chat. Whatever you feel like doing. And that'll be the fun thing that we do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's stream. I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you all so much for the hype train, for the gifted subs, for the resubs, for the prime subs, for all of the subs, for the follows, for just hanging out and chilling, being cool peoples. I'll see you guys in the next stream, which is going to be on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard. I love your faces. I'll see you in the Discord and in Repeat's stream. Have a good night, everybody. And then there was silence.